It's time to use Batiste. Yes, your boy actually did get him. I got insanely lucky with this. I got him on my first multi-summon, and it was a Roy animation. I got Batiste, so hey man, I'll take it. But the thing is, is that I did not get either one of this man's true equips, which both of them are pretty pretty freaking good and i'm gonna be honest if you want to be more of a budget player i would say the best one to get from both these would definitely be the black flash just because this thing gives you physical resistance down every single time you use it and it's a constant effect you know you're never losing anything as with this true weapon night jacket you do lose something after you use it one time which is of course you lose the arch gen buff if you had arch gen on this all the time then i would say this actually be pretty viable but you can easily replace this true weapon with something else but if you want to at least pick one you know kind of be a little bit more budget light i definitely recommend at least picking up true night edge because i think that's the better of the two also it gives him even more damage up so that's really nice so with batiste i've been seeing a lot of different comps with this man i've been seeing a lot of craziness with him and I will say that I am thoroughly excited to use this guy. So if you don't know what Batiste does, if you've been living under a rock, let's go over him real quick. Batiste's whole gimmick is, of course, damage. His art is a stackable dark resist down. And then his true art is a huge 40,000% modifier on top of increasing his attack by 100% and ignoring the enemy's defense by 100% for 12 seconds. And whenever his zero stacks are maxed, he gets an additional 30,000% to his true art. So he's hitting for 70,000% on this true art now. And not only that, he also gets damage up every single time he uses an art up to a maximum of six times. And this is before you even factor in like his true weapons and stuff. Like if you have both true weapons on him, then that will be where he is, I'm assuming, getting his most damage potential from just, you know, base wise. But even if you have only one of them on there, you know, that's still giving him even more damage because one of the true weapons give him 40% more attack up and the other one gives him 40% more damage up. Passively, by the way, you can see here he has some pretty... Pretty quick uh, arts, you know what I'm saying? Just to dash forward with the, the slash, the jing jing, you feel me? And then you have the true art. Pretty fast true art. Looks really nice. He just throws out all of his knives and then jumps in the air, throws some more knives. Pretty nice true art and it's very quick. You know, does a lot of damage extremely quickly. And I actually saw a team comp with them on Twitter earlier and I wanted to try it out actually in the mines. And I think it was by one of the people who hold one of the longest mine records on JP GS. I'll put his Twitter up on screen right now so you can see it and I'll link it in the description because this is actually where this team comp came from was from his idea but it's gonna be this team along with Juno the only thing is is that he actually has better equips on his Batiste he has his true weapon and unfortunately I cannot get his true weapon as you see here I'm uh, I'm quite broke so I'm gonna try this out in different fights and everything see how well it does because he was on a pretty high floor whenever he was doing it with this team he was like on floor 80 plus so we're gonna try it out see how it goes i don't think you could use batiste against the gondola you might be able to but it might not be for the best also by the way if you need help doing any of these fights in the mines because a lot of these bosses are brand new highly recommend that you check out the mines guide i'll probably link it down below in the description and also you can just type it in on google and it's like the first link and that guide is really helpful because if even me going into this i didn't know at all what any of these bosses did that guy made it a little bit easier to understand you know exactly what i was getting myself into just the team we're going to be running these are the equips we're going to be running we're actually going to be putting on light equip right here instead because this guy does light damage if i'm not mistaken see what we can do with batiste now with batiste the entire game plan with him is just to use your art probably as soon as you can because that way you can already start the stacking going and literally with that one art right there he's already just by default having 40 percent more damage passively which is insanely good. Once we actually get Juno and Mako going, it's gonna be very easy to get everybody else, you know, topped up and where they need to be. We got everybody's true art going now, and we also got Batiste getting his stuff going. Gotta use Batiste to get where three stacks already on this man. I think he's really good as mines unit, or any stacking unit, I think is just really good in mines or and any other type of like super hard content but about this game we're gonna keep doing his arts until we can actually get his stacks all the way maxed we could probably kill before then too but by the time that i actually want ex gate to be up he's probably gonna be at max stacks but as you see here uh that damage that's happening is uh it's not just Juno. <laughs> That's not just Juno. We're actually getting really close to being able to use his true art, which is going to be right now. We're going to pop that. We're going to wait for the Mako buff to come through. Now we're going to pop this, and we're going to go absolutely brazy. Look at the damage. Though. Look at the damage. That, hey, man. Do you see this? Like, good lord. And he's back in it. Look at that. He's going right back into it. The instant looping. Like, what the heck, dude? 
Man's going crazy. By the way, this guy has a lot of damage resistance. The way how you counter him is by using stuff that lowers his damage resist. Here's another fight that we can actually use Batista in, so let's get another Juno. Preferably, I would want a Juno with true EX gate on and not just like a AoE archgen item. That's just for me though. You know, if you guys are running Juno as your friend unit and you don't have true EX gate, don't go out of your way to like get it. I would definitely say though, if you want to help people out, put true EX gate on it instead of a uh, Goku uniform or anything else because it just helps Juno stack a lot quicker. I say stack a lot quicker, but you know, get into her true art a lot faster. Okay, and here we are at the boss. The boss actually does have light and dark killers so we do have to be a little bit careful about that but we don't have any crit chance but that really shouldn't matter like at all because between juno and batiste it's just going to be complete destruction man there's no other way to put it as you see here juno is dealing a lot of damage with batiste because she actually synergizes really well with the stacking dark resist down people will be like oh juno is a light unit well yeah she's a light unit but her true art does dark damage so doing this actually increases juno's damage as well and as you see there, that was an insanely easy clear from Juno and Batiste. Man, it's going absolutely dummy. And I mean, a minute clear, that's not too bad, especially having Theus on the team. Here's the Fire Dragon. We could do the same thing with him. Also, isn't this a secret enemy right here? Like whenever one of these guys just spawn or does she actually do something else? I think she heals you, right? We do actually have Thetis in his Magia Drive already, but we don't actually have his uh his barrier up yet, I don't think. And I should have switched out my equips because yeah, these equips are not great for this fight. See here we have 30% dark resist down. We're gonna be having 45% dark resist down now. Absolutely just killing it with Batiste. The thing is about this is that if Batiste doesn't get fully ramped up, then it's not really the end of the world because at the end of the day, Juno's going to be hitting hard. Look at that. That's 15, 30, 45, what, freaking... 60% dark resist down right there. Like, oh man, dude, this is insane. Like, the amount of damage and stuff we're going to be able to deal. Let me just see. What does one hit from this do? 133k per hit without a crit? Jeez. The only time you wouldn't be able to use this comp is like against this guy and probably against Yugetsu here. And I would assume more than likely, yeah, you definitely wouldn't be able to do this against Oldius because Oldius has physical resist. Well, actually, just with Batiste lowering dark resist down all the time, you might be able to do this just with Juno alone. But yeah, this team is pretty nasty, man. I'm not going to lie. Batiste is an insane unit. I'm so happy that I actually got him and I definitely want to crest this man out and everything because this team alone dude is just like wow this is this is pretty crazy <laughs> of course it'd probably be even wilder if we had the true weapons and everything because that would be even more damage plus some passive archgen for my man Batiste because he doesn't get too much archgen by himself but yeah tell me down below if you guys had any luck summoning for Batiste I'm definitely glad that I got him I mean you can barely even see his face because this freaking ability is just stuck here but I guess you can look at him like this yeah Batiste absolutely insane unit really strong would I say he's broken no I wouldn't say he's broken but the synergies that he has with other dark units or just other units in general like juno makes it really freaking good man like he wants to be in a fight for a long time if you want to nuke with him you know you can nuke with him but he really wants those drawn out fights to where he can just stack and stack and stack people that's on his team want that too because they're just gonna get more damage from him or they're gonna do more damage so yeah overall batiste insane unit really love using this guy definitely probably pick it up as true weapon whenever i get a chance to but guys that's gonna be it for this video man thank you all for coming out if you'd like to see some more mines action you guys should go watch the live stream yesterday it's on my channel it will be up there as an actual video if you want to go watch that if you want to see some more mines gameplay and see how i tackle different bosses or you can go watch any of my other previous mines videos there's tons on my channel where i go up against the mines so yeah thank you all for coming out again man it's been your bro p and last but not least you guys already know don't forget to drink water